Hello and welcome. So you want to be a Sen, huh? Alright, well, let's get started. So, the first thing you're going to find is that the files we're going to supply on Gumroad have all of these here. Um, the, really, the only ones that matter, that matter a lot are the send package. Might have a different uh, revision number here. And then the final IK standard scripts. Alright, so those are the two that you mainly need to focus on. And you'll also need to get some files from online. So the first one is you're going to need to get a copy of Unity. Um, Unity is free. You don't have to pay, you don't have to pay for it or anything, but you do have to get it downloaded and all that kind of stuff. So on VRChat's website, um, there is a, a Docs current Unity version, and it'll tell you the Unity version that you need. So as the time of recording this, it's 2019.4.30f1. Um, it is a lot easier to download the hub first. So you would click on this Unity hub, and then download Unity hub right here. And then after that's installed, you can just click on this link that says click here to install the current version of Unity via Unity Hub. When you do that, it'll actually open Unity Hub and then Unity Hub will download it. So when you have that, you'll then get um, this here. Now I have a bunch of different versions installed. You're only gonna have one, so that's fine. Um, but you're gonna have this version here installed and it should show up in this list. All right, so that's kind of what I would say is step one. Step two, you need to get a copy of the VRChat uh, SDK. So this would be the uh, SDK3 avatars right here. Uh, I've got a copy of this already ready. And then we're gonna make a new project. So open Unity Hub and then click on Projects, New. I always click the arrow because I have multiple versions installed, otherwise it'll always pick the newest. Um, but uh, you want to make sure it's 2019.4.30f1. Click on that. Name it something. So this will be Sen Tutorial. Hit Create. It's going to take a little bit of time. And then when it's fully ready, the first thing you want to do is you want to copy in the VRChat SDK 3 avatars from VRChat. This is the first file that you need to do. The order actually does matter, so make sure that you're doing this in the order I'm describing here. And uh, it's going to think for a moment and then give you this list. Um, everything should be checked. There should be nothing unchecked here, but just in case, I always click the All button in case you've accidentally clicked something you don't want to, and then click on Import. All right, um, so the next thing you need is Dynamic Bones. Um, this, is an a uh, this is an asset you're going to purchase and you can get it from the Asset Store, which is this little button here. If that button doesn't appear, you can click on Asset Store from here or hit Control F9 to turn it on. Anyways, so once you've purchased it, which I'm not gonna go through those steps, but once you've purchased it, it'll appear in My Assets. Um, and that will be this dynamic bone object here. It's currently $20. Um, I believe sometimes they have it on sale, but either way. And then you click on Import, and it's going to pop up another window very similar like this. Um, once again, I always click all just to make sure and then import. That one's gonna be a lot quicker and it's already imported. You'll see dynamic bones here. That allows our avatar to uh, have moving tail and ears and all that kind of stuff. All right, um, so now the next one is an or statement. So you can, if you, if you feel more inclined, um, you're welcome to purchase this as this asset from the um, from the store as well. Final IK right here. Um, you can find this on the store. You can click import if you want to do it this way. Um, I've also included a free version of the same thing, which is completely legal. Um, it is a stand-in script, which means it doesn't actually contain any of the um, any of the actual files from Final IK. Um, but it does allow you to set the parameters and then upload that into VRChat. So we're going to import the version I have that will be included with the files. Very small file, just a couple objects here. Click on All, Import. All right. And then lastly, um, you might need to get the um, Poyomi. So, Poyomi is a shader that I'm using in this avatar. 
but you don't have to use this. You can use the standard shaders. Um, I do like this shader because you get the uh, the glowing effects on the uh, on the crest of the avatar and some of the eyes and the overall look of it. It's just a little different. Um, so if you decide that you'd like to get this, you would download it right here, um, this Unity package, and uh, then you would drag it in as well. So as of the time of making this video, I have Poyomi version 7.2.41. Um, if there is a newer version, uh, go ahead and download that and use that. Um, I will say that sometimes the newer versions don't aren't compatible with the older settings, so it's going to be kind of um, might be hit or miss. You may have to download an older version if uh, if there's any problems. All right, so the very last thing you need to do is get the uh, the send package. Now this needs to be last. Make sure that you do this one last. This has all of the actual avatar files. So the first thing you want to do is there is a prefab um, underneath Assets, Send Avatar Prefabs. It's going to be named Drag This Into The Scene, all caps. So drag that. So you can drag it out here, um, but I would prefer that you drag it into this area here under the hierarchy because then it'll put it in 000 space. Um, you'll notice it's pink. Um, that is a little strange. Uh, if that shows up as pink, you may have to change these to Poyomi Tune, probably a different version of Poyomi Tune causing problems. And once you do that, it should just uh, should just recognize it and update the avatar let's appearance. There we go. So now it's uh, now it's actually in the scene and ready. Um, otherwise, though, you're ready to upload. Um, if you want to mess with anything at this point, that's up to you. Um, you can change textures, you can change the dynamics, you can change the controls, whatever you'd like to do. But you're ready to upload at this point. So uploading in, in Unity, you click on the VRChat SDK, click on Show Control Panel, then you log in. I'm going to do this off screen for a moment. And then once you're, once you're actually logged in properly, um, this will not normally pop up this way. It'll come up as empty and say new avatar. Um, and you'll be ready to build and publish. So you click on build and publish here. And it's going to tell you that some of the materials need to be locked. This is a Poyomi specific issue. Um, you don't need to worry about this if you're not using Poyomi. But otherwise, click OK. And it'll take a little bit of time. Um, so anyways, then you just name your avatar or something. Um, send tutorial. Give it some description. Make sure you have everything set set the way you want it on here, and click on upload. All right, and then you'll get this update complete when it's all done. You click OK, and it'll send you back into the standard mode here. Now we're going to go into VR Chat. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at it. This in VR Chat. I have a lot of different avatars uploaded, but um, you'll see that the uh, the new one has been listed in your creations section and you can click on change into avatar. There are a lot of different menus here and, and options for how to control the hands, um, but for desktop users, honestly, the mirror mode is just fine. Uh, it defaults to that, so that's pretty good. Um, so make sure you take a look at my other videos if you want to do all of the control mode selections and stuff like that. Um, but otherwise, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next time. Thank you. Goodbye. All right, so now for some bonus stuff. The first thing I want to mention is if you would like to use the standard shaders or if your avatar is showing as pink um, without using Poyomi, you will need to make this change. You'll have to change the materials. So first thing you want to do is you want to open up, uh, drag this into the scene, send model body. This is the actual mesh object. And in the, um, in the project folder, you're going to need to go, go to assets, send avatar, materials. And inside of here, there are two that are named use if not using poi, and their body and eyes. So all you have to do is uh, drag these objects up into the body map poi and the eye poi. And it will essentially replace those using standard shaders only. You will lose some, um, some functionality. So the biggest thing that you'll lose is the, uh, the color of the crest will not animate when you're in-game. Um, it just can't do that with the standard shaders, so you, you will lose that functionality. Um, but that's the only change you have to make to, um, to do that. 
Uh, and that's only if you want to avoid using poi in custom shaders. I know a lot of people in game uh, don't like to have to show avatar or show shaders. Uh, and that's one way around it by doing this. All right, so let's talk for a moment about scaling. So um, if you know much about Sen lore, um, they can actually be extremely small or extremely big. Um, and it's easy to do in here. So once you've got everything set up normally, all you have to do is to click on the drag this into the scene. I'm going to zoom out some because we're going to get big. Um, and then just modify these scale values. So you can either just uh, grab the box here and slide it up. Um, what I did was I pressed, uh, I pressed R, and then I can slide this up or down. And then um, next time you go to upload, you'll be in that height. However, your eyes will not be in the right location. Let me move the sun out of the way. OK. Um, your eyes will not be in the right location. So right now, my eyes would still be uh, coming out of my belly or crotch here. So what you do to fix that is you click on Edit here for View Position. So this is under the same object here. Um, and it'll say VRC, Avatar Descriptor Script, View, View Position, and you click on Edit. And it's going to give you a little thing you can move around. Um, this is actually a small sphere. And all you have to do is raise this up using the green slider up to inside the mouth. I know it sounds kind of strange. Um, but uh, to get the longer neck working on a humanoid avatar, the eyes have to come out where the mouth is. Um, you won't see it in game at all. You just, uh, it's just how your, where your actual view position is at. If you go too high, you'll have some, some kind of strange issues where you'll constantly be walking. And if you go too low, you'll be clipped into the avatar's chest and you won't be able to see much else. So I've, I've found that for this avatar, right inside the mouth is a good spot. Um, when you're done, you click return, and that's it. Now you can go upload, and now you have a massive sized avatar. So the next thing I want to show is related to the body shape. So by default, you get this body shape. Um, this is just the standard, the standard body. Um, but there are actually a lot of options to slide around, and when you're in-game, there actually are sliders for this already. Um, however, you will find that those sliders do not save. Um, whenever you refresh the avatar, change worlds, if somebody else joins in after you've already modified them, they won't see the changes. Um, that's kind of a demo mode, basically. So you don't get those body shapes until you actually do the whole purchase here. Uh, but to change them, all you have to do is go into this drag into the scene, send model body, and there is a drop down for blend shapes. Open this up, it's actually a rather long list. Um, but the ones that you want to mess with are these last five. Um, there is Fem Lower, which kind of gives you a little hip movement. There is Fen Upper, Fem Hips, adjust the whole body shape, a little bit form feminine. Um, there is Chubby, so you can make everything more chubby and muscle. So those are the five that you can mess with. Um, and what you want to do is you set these to whatever you like. You can use combinations if you want. So you can get some chubs, some muscle, and then let's say fem lower. I don't know. We'll just throw things together. So then you've got a new body shape. Um, and this will this will translate into the game. Um, as long as you change it here, it will be there every time that you load the avatar. However, if you go into the menus and change the sliders um, and you uh, and, and, and you mess with those, those will overwrite this, um, only temporarily. So once you've refreshed the avatar in game, then you're back to whatever settings you've, you've selected here. Um, it might be a good idea to go into the animations. So under animations, body, there is a all off animation. And this is essentially tied to the reset. So we're going to go to the animation window. And if this window isn't open, you can click on window up here. Go to animation. Animation. Kind of silly, but it's, it's named that. It's also control six. Uh, and in this menu here, everything's set to default zero, um, which means that every time you hit the reset button, it's going to reset it to zero. Um, but if you've modified this and you want to change the default, all you have to do is just type in the numbers. Um, so let's take a look at what we've got. So mine is about 77, 25, 55. So I'm going to go back to that animation. 
77, 25, 55. Oh, looks like I was uh, waving at everybody. Um, by changing this animation um, and just typing in these values, you've now changed what the reset button will do. And when you hit reset, it will now go to this body shape rather than going to the default. Uh, and this is just a good way to to uh, to set this as well. You don't have to do this this way. Um, it's up to you. Whatever you feel like you want to do best.